All right, let's start coding the form and I'll double click the form first. And as usually, we will create a few variables. And we don't need many. The first one we need is the number of items ordered. So it's gonna be an integer items ordered. The next one, I'm going to create a constant for the number of products because that's gonna be part of our array of products. So we need to know how many products there are. We could just add it directly to our array as number of elements, but this way we will be able to keep adding or deleting the products because we will have a constant that will tell us how many products there are. So I'm just going to create constants and I'll call it number of products. And let's say we'll have 10 by default. So now I can have an array of a product. So this is going to be an array of objects product. So it's going to be products and we can instantiate it to new product array. And how many products there are? Well, that's a constant number of products. So like I said, we don't really need this. We could just put 10 right here, but this way makes it easier to edit if you keep adding or deleting products from the array. And that's really all we need. So let's go to our load event and here we will add these products manually in our array. So products with the index of zero will equal a new product. And let's call it something. It expects the description and cost. So let's call this one computer. And let's say the cost is thousand. Then let's add another one. So it's going to be product number one, actually it's product number two, but index one, and it's a new product. And this one can be printer. And let's say this one costs $75. And I'm going to add eight more products to make it 10 together. So here are my 10 products that we are going to be selling in this application. And they all are created on our load event. So next we need to add these products over here to our domain up down. So it populates the list. So we can use a for each loop and we can use integer i equals zero. i is less than, it's less than 10, but we have a variable now, number of products and i plus plus. And here we'll go to dot products, which is our drop down with the products, go to items and add every one of them. So we will add them from our products with the index of i. And what we are adding is just the description. We don't need the cost. We'll simply have the description from which the user will select the products from the dropdown. And by default, we want to select the first product on the list. So we'll go to dot products dot selected index and set it to zero. So it will select computer as the first product. All right, so next let's start coding the button click events. 